गेट 2016 सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सेट वन क्वेश्चन 24 द सिस्टम दैट यूजेस द सन एज अ सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक एनर्जी एंड रिकॉर्ड्स द नेचुरली रेडिएटेड एंड रिफ्लेक्टेड एनर्जी फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड फोर ऑप्शंस आर गिवन ए जियोग्राफिकल इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम बी ग्लोबल पोजिशनिंग सिस्टम सी पैसिव रिमोट सेंसिंग एंड डी एक्टिव रिमोट सेंसिंग रेलिवेंट एनपीटल रेफरेंस हैज बीन साइटेड so when we talk about remote sensing there are namely two techniques that are used the first one is where we want to study a characteristic on earth so we will have a satellite in the space that sends out a signal and then receives the signal back by reflection in this case the satellite is acting as a active agent and hence this method of remote sensing is called active remote sensing here the satellite sends the signal and receives the signal itself but in the other case which is called as passive remote sensing we have our sun it sends heat rays and light rays on earth and then the reflected energy it may be temperature it may be humidity it may be some kind of climatic characteristic this may be measured by the satellite that is orbiting in space so in this case the sun acts as a source of the energy and the satellite receives it back here the satellite is not sending its own signal it is just receiving the naturally radiated energy of the sun so in this case it is passively working which is called as passive remote sensing so the question says the sun is acting as a source of energy so as we saw in the previous slide when we have the sun that sends out beams towards earth and they are recorded using a satellite it is called as the passive remote sensing method because the satellite is not sending any energy or beams of its own here it is just using the sun's energy to detect so the system that uses the sun as a source of electromagnetic energy and records the naturally radiated and reflected energy is called as passive remote sensing that is option c the relevant npetel reference has been mentioned Thank you.